Nigeria's first lady had gathered fellow women, including the wife of a former head of state, Hajia Ajoke Motala Mohammed, wives of some governors, female lawmakers, female ministers, business executives, representatives of different women organizations for a dinner to commemorate her husband's second year in office. She could not hide her feelings on the place of women in the Nigerian political space. She singled out some of them who have helped in the success recorded so far in her husband's administration and thanked her husband for giving Nigerian women the opportunity to serve. We are very, very proud of our women and we thank Mr. President for carrying the women along. And the women are the backbone of the country. They are performing very well. They are lifting our face very high, and we are proud of them. On insecurity in the land, she called on Nigerian women to take the lead in checking the ugly trend. We, the women of Nigeria, it's high time that we need to talk to our children at home and advise them to show all evil behavior and to make sure that anything that will be the downfall of Nigeria, we should desist from it. Some of the special guests react. As children are being nurtured, as they are growing up, for them to appreciate the essence of peace. This crisis normally are not started by the women. If you see any war or any crisis, it's always the men that start the crisis. When things like this happen, it's women that are the victims. And we are tired of being widows and our children are tired of being orphans. We should promote peace. That it should be of our concern for her as the first lady of federation to ask all Nigerian women to ensure that we keep closer to our children because they always come from homes anyway. Observers say well-meaning Nigerian women, some of them quietly, have gone beyond the borders to do things that bring good reputation to the country. They believe they can do more if given greater opportunities. Chukuma Onwekusi, Channels Television News.